Super salty on that one. Yeah, I would have been I would have been super salty on that one. That I would have been super salty on. He he pulled out of the spot and I I guess he didn't make he didn't do the 
didn't do the tug test to make sure that the fifth wheel was locked. So he pulled out, the trailer came from up under him. Now he's, now he's blocking the whole, he's up in the front area, blocking the whole area. And it's, uh, it's kind of crazy now because the, the, the landing gear lades is like locked up under there because you know, it fell to the ground. So they're waiting on a, a record to come through. And there's some other guys over there, right there by the guard, right there. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they gonna, they gonna be here for a while. It's gonna take a hot minute to get all that done. Guys, to go. <laughs> that is not nice, not nice at all. All right, we, we about to get up out of here. I, I really didn't think I had anything to talk about today. If you're coming out of Ohio, if you're coming out of anywhere, man, you guys be careful, okay? I mean, winter driving is probably the best time to learn how to drive one of these things, but winter, but winter time driving is also the dangerous time to be driving to. So if you don't need to be at work today or you don't, or like me driving the truck, Stay home. Trust me. Stay home for your boy. Well, nah. I was rooting for them, but they're not they're not my team though, but I'm glad they won. Oh, I was so glad. I watched it for so many years and so close. I mean I'm a pitcher. Oh you are? Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. The hat fanatic. You guys know what it is. You know what it is. My man, Pittsburgh. He's from Pittsburgh, so you know he's an Eagles fan. So he's very happy that uh, that his team won. And I am rocking out with the Eagles joint right now. I'm gonna still get me a Patriots hat though. Not soon, but I'm gonna get one. But the Eagles, they did the damn thing. So, I'm very happy. They did what they were supposed to do, man. I, and I anticipated, I, anticip, I anticipated that all they needed to do was shut them down, get 21, shut them down, and they'll win it. And that's exactly what they did. I'm telling y'all, it's the hat, right? It is the hat, man. I'm telling you, you guys, Gotta know it is the hat. But anyway, paperwork done. Boar's head done. Now, about to head over to Zanesville right quick. Grab that trailer and be done with that. Still got four hours left on the clock. About two hours to get over there. to Zanesville and as a matter of fact I'm about to tell you guys the, the, the load that I'm about to pick up right quick is is it's right here look at that look at that right there you see that look at that right there see that it's right next to me <laughs> go figure now that I have to now that I had to pick that up I had to drop this one in door 10 this area right here is nice as far as getting the trailers in and out and all like that and just just so smooth. But being that this one right here is next to me, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that one because there's a mound of snow right over there. So I don't know. Hmm. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, paperwork right here. Y'all see that? Ready to go. 
not sure of uh, what's what's the plan. I really don't have one. I, I don't have a plan. I got three hours. I already did my eight. I already took my half an hour. So I got three hours left on the clock. So the question is, should I drive the three hours? Because it's going to take me about 10 hours to get out there. Well, no, no, I, I take that back. Let me see. It's going to take me about six hours. It's going to take me about six hours to get out there. So, should I, should I just hold up and then just get an early start like I said I was going to do? Or should I just go ahead and, and drive just to get close?